This is Sumo in 5 minutes. Let's go. First up I'll have to add some materials. That would be steel, concrete and timber. I then need to define some sections. I'll go for a parallel flange rafter, a wide flange column and then some concrete columns as well as a timber beam. Firstly, I'll place a pad footing at the origin of my model. I'll put a column on top of that and this will be where I start with my model. I will now duplicate this column and footing in two directions using the array copy function. Creating a level so that I can work at the top of these columns. Now I'll just draw the outline of my concrete slab and it's going to have a 2 meter cantilever portion at the one end. Now I want to add some monolithic beams to this slab. Drawing the monolithic beams so that they attach to the bottom of the slab. I'll just copy them in the other direction because I want three in total. Next up I want to create my steel frame at the top of this structure and I'll have my short column at the back of the structure and then one steel column here at the front that's a bit taller so that my roof can slope. I'll draw my steel rafter then and the rafter should have a slight overhang so I'll just use a construction line to extend to. Okay and I can copy the two columns and rafter in this direction so that I have three in total. With my rafters completed I can add the timber beams and they'll span from one end to the other. And in my opinion, timber members should always be yellow, so I'll change the color to yellow. And I'll copy my timber beam because I want 10 more copies of it. There's my structure, so all that remains now are the loads. I'll have two load cases, dead and live and the self weight will be part of the dead load case. Then a load combination, just combining the dead and live load cases with ULS and SLS factors. Now I just need to add some loads and assign them to each load case. I'll put an area distributed load on the slab. And a line load on the timber beams. From the analysis options, I'll choose a linear analysis. I'll save my model and there we go there. The analysis is now completed. I'm first presented with the displacement of the model and I can cycle through all of the load groups. Then Sumo gives me the reactions as well as the beam forces which are actual moment and shear and then the shell results, plate results in the x and y directions. That was Sumo in 5 minutes. Thank you for watching.